Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we're going to do another gun from our friends at Yield It and Ray Trade. I'd like to say thank you again for sending us some loads of these guns for review. The channel wouldn't be the same without support from the UK gun manufacturers or the over overseas gun manufacturers supporting us. And this particular gun is the new Yield It's Pro Adjustable Comb 2022 model. And again, like I said, this is the grade four version. Like I said with the, the previous one of these I did is, again, they have really, really, really gone to town on the presentation of this gun. The case, the woodwork in the box, just the whole thing is just, this, this is, they've gone the extra little bit for a gun that retails at 2000 pounds. This specific gun comes with, again, full set of chokes, comes with the five internal chokes, and it comes with the two external chokes. Again, just even with the chokes, you'll just have put that little bit of effort in just to make them look nice. So again, tick in the box. And here comes the new 2022 Yield It's Pro adjustable comb. The biggest thing I've seen is the pistol grip is a lot bigger here. So compared to the previous one I've done, this would actually suit, and this is where they've really worked well as the two guns. If you've got big hands or you're quite a big person, this actually fits that really, really good. So that's something that they have changed. So if you're the sort of person that is quite a big gentleman or lady and you've got big hands and you're thinking, oh, what gun's out there? What's got a big pistol grip for me to fit that there? Have a look at this, really does it well. If I take the barrels out, my first impressions are great, great piece of walnut on there because all yield it's come with walnut. They're all chrome barrels, all steel proof. Triggers very much Prazi look-alike, Boss look-alike. But my biggest thing is compared to the one previous or the sort of game one, Splash Sporter one, which is what I called it. This, it's a little bit more kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A bit more heavy. Um, a bit more heavier here, a bit more weighty here. So that's the only thing I would. I mean, if you're looking for an out and out sporting gun, this actually feels, this actually feels really good for that. But if you're looking for something a little bit more delicate, then the previous one is good. And this is where, if you put the two of them together, they fit, that you've got something there for everyone. So I'm not necessarily gonna go into it. Again, they do this in the 30 inch, 28 inch this particular model is the 30 inch they've made them work for everyone so if you're looking at this and you're thinking oh i like the, the one last week i did I, I felt myself i'd prefer the one i did before this one is just that little bit heavier but if you want to shoot out at sporting this is probably for, for your sort of type of person Let's shoot it and let's see what, I, what, what comes out with this. So one thing I will say, and you can actually Google this because it is on Google, 
yield its own 90% of the Turkish walnut in Turkey. So you can almost guarantee that the best walnut is going to go to yield it. And it's little things like that that's really pushing yield it that step forward. So now I'm going to go in a little bit more. I'm not going to go in too much depth about the details of the gun. Most of it, the guns I, I did on the last one. I'm going to take the adjustable comb out and I'm going to show you about how the adjustable comb works on this particular gun, on this particular model. And the good thing about this is you don't need to worry if you're left or right handed. The yield its you can fit them to pretty much virtually anyone off the shelf. So I've just taken that off. If my client, or if you're, if you're worried about looking a bit down and getting a bit more cast on, you can move it left, right. As easy as that. So that's something that they have put in. So you can move these up, down, left, right, depending completely what you want. So you can fit this gun and I'm just going to lift it up a fraction. So you can lift it up, down, left, right. You can pretty much do whatever you want with this gun. If you go to your local shooting school and ask yield it, if you say you've seen the yield it's on TSC, you could, they will take you out, they will fit a gun to you, and they will try it. Most of the decent yield it shooting schools will have demonstrators for you to try. The weight of this is slightly heavier, about eight and a half pounds, um, compared to the other one. So in theory, there should be virtually no recoil on this at all. Let's try it. Using my swap cons, don't forget, TSC 10, you can get yourself 10% off if you use TSC 10 off your swap cons. Fiocchi cartridges, I'm going to use 28 gram Fiocchi cartridges through this, just to see what the recoil's like. Ball. What a gun. And I'm gonna be completely honest, when I put this up before I shot it, it felt really lumpy. And I said to myself, I prefer the feel of the, one, of the first one, the non-adjustable one, but I actually shot this better. Just that whole weight made me really, really shoot this well. Just the balance of that gun, the bigness of that pistol grip, if you're young, you've got really small hands, or if you're an adult that's got small hands, a lady, the first yield it's, that's really where you want to go. But if you're a bloke that wants a nice clay shooting gun, look at this gun. You will be impressed. Don't just put, be up, put off by, say, by seeing it's a yield it's. It's as close to a Prazi you're going to get without paying £16,000. You will not beat this gun. It is one hell of a gun for the money. Okay, the one knock I had is that you can actually, you can, you, the, the bead, you can take them off if you read the instruction manuals. Don't forget men out there, read the instruction manual first. Trigger wise, you can't fault them. I hope you enjoyed this program. If there's anything you would like to say or like to find out about this gun or about anything we put in this, please comment below. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.